Friends, welcome to my birth place at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe this totally unedited surgery. This is a cataract with grade 2 plus or grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratom. The site of incision is at around 11 o'clock. This is phenocaine, the patient is under topical anesthesia and in this case I have decided to stain the capsule so that I can demonstrate the capsulorexis very well. An air bubble has been injected into the anterior chamber. Tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule and now this is a little bit of adrenaline and then the dye is washed out and now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. A side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. After making the side port, capsulorexis is being done with the help of uh, utrita forceps. Capsular tag is raised by the tip of the utrita forceps and then if the anterior chamber becomes shallow, you just have to refill the anterior chamber and now the capsular tag is guided anticlockwise all around to get an adequate sized capsulorexis. And now, hydro dissection is done with 27 gauze cannula and bases. And now, the anterior chamber is again filled up with visco. 2% ASPMC. In this case, in this surgery, my aim is to show the pit and chop technique. Make a pit just in front of the main incision, go to the floor of the pit and then go into the substance in front, go for a distance and chop. I thought this may be an easier technique uh, to learn direct chop. And this is, you can see, this is a modification of the submarine chop technique. This is the pit. Just make a pit and now go to the floor of the pit and go for a distance through the substance of the nucleus and then chop. Since the tip is nicely occluded within the substance of the nucleus, uh, hold is very good and chopping is also nice and after making the uh, uh, some fragments since this is a soft cataract I emulsified the this but I recommend for the beginner surgeons that you chop all the fragments first and then start emulsifying pulling each nuclear piece at the center of the anterior chamber in the iris plane. This is the last nuclear piece and there are some, these are the epinuclear shells. Yes, the cortex also almost has come out but little bit of cortex is there so I am injecting visco taking the simco cannula and removing those lens fibers and 
go through the main port and remove the cortex from uh, five o'clock or some cells. And now, well, this is the cortex from the sub incisional area. And now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. In this case, I am going to fill off the anterior chamber and the capsular bag with visco that is 2% HPMC and then implant the intraocular lens. Here is the visco. And now the main wound is enlarged a bit because I am using a B cartridge and and now here goes the intraocular lens. This is a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens. The lens is dialed by two hooks. And now we have to remove the visco. The lens is in the capsular bag. You go behind the lens, irrigate the capsular bag, come in front of the lens, irrigate the anterior chamber. Again go behind the lens and irrigate the bag. <coughs> and then irrigate and aspirate for some time. Now I take bimanual irrigation aspiration cannuli. Irrigate and aspirate for some time. Where the Irrigation probe has gone behind the lens, aspiration is from above. And now, this is a bit of adrenaline. The side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration. And now a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done with the help of a Simco cannula. And the anterior chamber is nicely formed in this way and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. It will show the beginner surgeon how to do peat and chop technique.